Welcome to Trade the NBA.com. This is John's report is for the seventh. And well, after the number two, we continue to see a decent buy setup going on here within this overall sell configuration. I mean, started right here as we started breaking down on the shakeout. So it's been a clear short since this uh, DLC spread took place. However, well, geez, from where it started was right about here at uh, 7980 range and and dip down into the 50s as we dip below the ABM uh, green line here, uh, but it has pretty much brought itself all the way back up from there. We can do this. I don't want to do it there. Let's do it off the main chart here. We'll go to we take off the Bizel D2. This gets you into the current formula that we're working with, and um, you see it on the 5K is looking pretty strong as we're taking full advantage of what uh, DOC shakeout, all of those combined indicators now being into a single program, and it's going to be uh, real fun to do it. This one is uh, just the regular buy sell D. NQ breaking out slightly, and that's well, we've already had the uh, cyan below red line, which is already bullish, and it's been that way for several points in here. Um, and given the way this is, you would not have had a reading high enough from the steel to trigger a short. So this would have been green from, well, all the way back before over here. It's always good to see it that way because it gives you a better perspective overall. And the Dow doing its special thing, which has just been to be weaker than the other markets, but popping up nicely. It's going to be right back up at the equivalent reading. So. All in all, uh, it's been the weakest, suffered the most, um, but really it hasn't moved a whole lot. I mean, nothing has changed in this market for the better part of a month and a half since the conventions, which pretty much solidified um, everyone had their money in the right places. USO, just a little pop off the oversold. That tends to happen, doesn't usually produce a whole lot of anything. And GLD, we talked about uh, the fact that we saw the green cross above and it started to make a move. And look at this uh, cyan moving all the way under red for a very bullish uh, pushback. I um, wasn't looking all that impressive before. It overbought within this, so it's going to have to retrace it. But needless to say, this is the start of the move. And it's also uh, nice and clean from a DOC standpoint that it uh, broke below. Um, not just the green, but also a strong move underneath with the cyan, and then you had both, uh, uh, well, all short-term, mid-term, long-term buyers all in a clean move upward, and you can see the momentum that that generates uh, was a significant uh, bounce. TLT, uh, exactly nowhere. We expected it to go nowhere, and it's pretty much lived up to that hype. Big shocker of the day was the euro. Uh, we saw the steel rise above for buy configuration. We had the green moving slightly above as it was consolidating down here. Um, we expected a little bit of a dip back towards lows, which had already been satisfied right in here. And then we just had boom boost of uh, midterm as well as the pump of long term, and we dipped below the red line again. This is almost identical to what we're seeing in gold, or almost like parallel in that shot past the 50% retrace point uh, that's attractive for institutional guys. And so what they did was they acquired all here uh, underneath and now pushing it right back up at this particular point. Now, this one you'll see is my test four version, which basically we're starting to do the outlines of it. So in this particular case, we have a DOC trigger, which is the cyan moving above the red right here. We also have the orange above, and then it begins a count. So in this particular case, uh, we reached all the criteria within the first bar. Um, in this particular one, four bars before you got up to the right level, and you still were maintaining the orange above uh, four as well, and then boom, ended up with the nice little decay. The turnaround move came in our steel right here, Especially as the cyan dips below. Nice configuration from that standpoint. You can see then we ended up with a bunch of little chop several signals before it time finally turned around here with the uh, cyan above. Now, um, what's interesting about these is that uh, 
but took it on the second move. Um, you would have had a little bit more of a sustained um, action here once we put together the uh, final adjustments of uh, interim signal conditions. If we look at the 5K, it can show it a little bit more clearly. So here on the 5K, we get a much cleaner response to it. Um, with this brief mark right here, which was the short, we talked about why this isn't. We're above 15 over here all the way on the left on the shakeout, um, but we do not reach 20 um, for the orange, only 17. So this would require a secondary signal once it dipped below, which would involve also a uh, move of the cyan uh, coming above or what's going to be interplay, uh, which would be a shakeout breaking down to negative. Now what's interesting about that is that even though price up here um, is right around 80, even if you waited for the breakdown of uh, steel crossovers, turnarounds back there, you're going to be within a point or two of where that was originally. So while you'll give up a little bit in some of these cases, it won't be a tremendous uh, turnaround play coming off of the steel move above uh, 13.5. And then once it dips below the uh, 7.5 range, as long as it does it within three bars, um, you're good. And so that would have created the turnaround move there. Which is coming up, so that would have been 75 all the way to the next one, which is 80. And then the 80 would have gone all the way to the 74, and then the 74 would have been the turnaround long that uh, was the current uh, buy configuration at this particular point. So 74 to 85, another 10. So boom, up, down, and keeping pretty consistent um, running through most of it. Um, one thing in there was an indication of. Uh, Major Dubai configuration, she would have had uh, almost an attempt at a signal, but nothing reached the relative high until we got to this point right over here. In which case, the shakeout had worked itself out and was beginning to make improvements going right through there. So, all in all, this can be exciting. I'm hoping to get it out in the next uh, day or so with uh, more of these conditions, but at least I'll get it into a condition like this to where you'll be able to see it. And if, uh, we take a minute and just kind of scroll back through some of it. I can give you a little bit of a broad range. It takes some pretty strong directional moves. We keep some at play. The double um, line was an indication of the original short. The second line is the trigger line. Um, interesting in this particular case, uh, the transition was a dip below the red is what it should be and that should be taking place right here. Uh, I haven't put in those criteria where it's going to require, like in this particular case it was one hundredth of a you know, tick. It's going to require more than that uh, on a move below to justify it. So those are some of the little programming differentials that have to be added into it. Um, this doesn't sound like a big deal, but it's actually quite a bit of a pain to get that to work out. Um, but that's all right. That's uh, part of the process now with every indicator in here and adding in uh, the adjustments for a lot of uh, the specialties that were part of it uh, is nice because we're going to get these wonderful signals and they're going to produce some pretty significant runs in either both short and long directions with the trend on a 5k chart which is really the ultimate because it just means you can be close to price and yet stay with the trend. And that's always the most difficult thing when you're talking about um, smaller time frames. Most people can't do it and getting even get close. So this is going to be very effective, much more so. I haven't even put it on a 50K yet. That'll have to be uh, next series going up would be uh, 10K or even 15K, and then 25, 50K tick charts, uh, which would be equivalent to um, 78 minute or longer ones where it gets into um, larger bulk times but as I would say is it really even necessary to worry about uh, small time frames when you can trade uh, successfully at the shorter ones um, I always think that it's better if you can accommodate yourself onto the low ones and then be effective with getting the bulk of uh, trade so that's where things are at. Uh, yeah, most of the mid-morning I have to head out to a little teeny town outside of Bologna. And then I'll be returning. But as always, uh, trade well, and we'll talk again later.